Tonight, a story of gratitude after a story on Fox 13 helped locate a rolling piece of history for a Tooele family that was stolen two weeks ago. Here's Fox 13's Eliana Sheriff. That we call it old red, so. This 1950s hot rod is a family treasure for Jeff. Well, they drove it everywhere, so it really had a lot of family history built in. But old red almost didn't make it home. It was heartbreaking just because of everything we really wanted to do with it. After being worked on at Eakin's garage for two years, someone stole Old Red along with Eakin's trailer the night before Old Red was supposed to be delivered. We always knew it was going to come back until we didn't. That was scary. We didn't know if somebody wanted it for parts. We didn't know why they wanted it. Fox 13 first told you about the stolen truck and trailer last week. We was hoping somebody would do the right thing. Thank goodness they did. Prayers answered. Because of that story, a woman staying at a South Jordan hotel spotted the trailer in her hotel parking lot Christmas Day. She wants to remain anonymous, but she says she saw the story on the news and was shocked to then see the trailer right there outside the hotel. Not only was it a Christmas miracle to find the truck and recover it to the family on Christmas Day, but the recipient of that reward now wants to spread that Christmas magic even further. The family was offering a $1,000 reward and Derek says the woman who found the truck wants to take the money and pay it forward. We offered it to her and she said that she didn't do it for that reason, but she's going to donate it to a family that needs it more than her. Derek says they also created their own fundraising effort to help that Moab family that lost their home in a fire. So far, they've more than doubled the original reward amount. That was the best Christmas for a while. It's been a true blessing and kind of nightmare blessing all in the same. In Tooele, Eliana Sheriff, Fox 13 News, Utah. Pretty remarkable end to that story. Now, no arrests have been made yet in this case, but West Jordan police are investigating if some evidence could tie them to a suspect through DNA.